you tuning in for another video today. Just uh, down here by the river. Hadn't been down here in a while since we've had so much rain. Couldn't really get down here. It's actually uh, gone down a lot. If it was still up, I wouldn't be standing where I'm standing. <laughs> right here, it'd be underwater. But um, so, just getting out and uh, doing a little hike, checking out some new gear that I bought. I bought a um, new Firebox Nano stove. Some of you may be familiar with the Firebox stove. Um, great little stoves, uh, wood wood burning little stoves. So. I bought it, so I'm going to try it out today. Going to either make uh, cook up a mountain house meal, breakfast, or lunch, or something. So, hadn't decided yet. But anyway, so what I thought we'd talk about today is uh, a couple of new pieces of kit that I picked up. Now, you've already seen this kit being used uh, in several videos. It's the uh, Bushcraft Outfitters Core Temp Poncho and Poncho Liner. So, yeah, that's what we're going to take a look at today. So, my name is Chris. You're watching Skills to Survive. We'll be right back. All right, folks, welcome back. So I had to come up here to uh, closer to my camp because it's just still too wet down there uh, by the river to do anything without just getting completely muddy. But nevertheless, so like I've said in previous videos, throughout the past several years, I've been slowly upgrading my equipment to a little bit better equipment, a little bit more higher end, something that's gonna, that I know that's going to last a lifetime. Some of that equipment may be like the uh, Kafaru uh, equipment that I've bought, my high range outdoors pack some knives stuff like that so throughout time as I get more money you know stuff like that I, I'm again I've been upgrading my equipment because I want better equipment stuff's gonna last forever you know there's nothing wrong with buying cheaper equipment to get you started out but you definitely need to replace that equipment and gear over time so if you've used like myself I've used military ponchos uh, for years I still have several and still use them they're an excellent piece of mod modular versatile kit well Bushcraft Outfitters, you know, they recently came out with their core temp shelter system. Now it's a complete system that includes the shelter half uh, that I recently did a video on, and I'll put a link, you know, up there if you want to check it out. Excellent piece of kit. This is the poncho, and I also have the poncho liner. So the poncho, a typical seal nylon type poncho. It weighs in at like 13 ounces, so it's pretty lightweight, compact, and it folds down really small, comes in a nice little bag only comes in one color right now which is the uh, OD green which I really like because like I said green's my favorite color right it has eight tie uh, eight tie outs around the sides so they kind of see right here you have a little tie out I, I attach these little loops on here just to kind of when I stake it out it just gives it a little bit extra of, um, room but you do have tie outs and you do have snaps you have 20 snaps around the side and, and what the snaps are for is to snap it into the uh, core temp shelter half for a complete system. So let me put this on here. I'll show you. So here it is. You have the hood here, drawstring hood. Which you can really cinch down if you want. You can cinch it, like if you have a hat on, like I usually do, I wear my hat. If it's raining outside, I have a boonie type hat that has a wide brim on it that I'll wear. And I'll just kind of, I can cinch this up around my neck so no water, you know, drips down in my neck. But, as you can tell, again, seal nylon, like I said, it's 13 ounces. So, your basic poncho shelter, or poncho, you know, that can be used for a multitude of different shelters. Now, I recently did a, um, a camp out as well, just using the... The poncho as my shelter just did a simple a-frame i'll link that as well or put the link down below or you can go back in previous videos and check that out so you know not a whole lot to your poncho but like i said it's a modular piece of equipment so it will bolt in or not bolt in it will snap in to your core temp shelter and i'll throw a picture in uh showing it being um showing it snapped in instead of me actually showing you i'll just i'll put a picture in or a quick little video um, overlay so you can see it but once you snap it into your uh, core temp shelter you have like a basically a two-man type shelter or a one-man shelter that you can use uh, that has, you can uh, attach it as like an awning like I said before I really like that feature to have like an awning because if it's raining you can kind of sit under your little awning you know have a little fire out front and do that so but yeah so this is the you know the poncho again so uh, let me put this up Let's take a look at another awesome piece of gear, the poncho liner. So I'll be right back. All 
all right so here is the poncho liner comes in a nice stuff sack as well now the poncho liner is uh, 40 ounces so a little over two pounds very heavy duty very um, very warm which is nice it's fairly compact as well so it can compact down so it's like 93 inches long um, you know, it's 93 inches long by 62 inches wide so very wide very big when I first got this thing I was just I was blown away because it is just huge so let me put this on for you all right so as you can tell you have a hood nice drawstring hood again this will completely mate with the poncho so you can put the poncho on you have the hood if your you know ears get cold or head gets cold and you put it on but since I can't hear very well with that I'm gonna take this off so again something that you'll notice it's kind of hard to notice on camera you have a very nice large pocket right here on the front turn the camera down here so you can see very nice hand pocket right here I found this very nice uh, when it's cold just kind of put your hands in your pocket because that's something that uh, other poncho liners just don't have they don't have a hand pocket so very wide too so if you have gloved hands have big bulky gloves you can put those in there or put you know kind of put whatever you want in there it has your tabs all around so it will completely mate with the poncho again now <clears throat> they did not put snaps in here so there's no snaps or anything that snaps it in place you have to either use a couple of small pieces of paracord or bank line and tie it into your poncho if that's how you want to do it and uh, I asked I, I asked them why they didn't um, put snaps on there or on this and they said basically um, it would be just kind of uncomfortable when you're laying down with it which it does I mean if you got snaps and you're using this as a sleeping bag and you're laying down it, it gets uncomfortable so that's the reasoning for that so the way I've been using this is just with some um, I have a couple of little carabiners and I've been taking the front part here and just kind of wrapping it behind me and then taking the back and bringing it around on each side and I have a little carabiner right here attached to it and I've just been attaching it like that so your hands are still kind of free if you want them to really be free you just pull them out like that or you can kind of tuck them in you can tuck them into your back into your pocket now bushcraft outfitters sells an accessory kit that comes with several pieces of shock cord and cord locks which I highly recommend you buy because that will alleviate some of this so this is just one way to wear it or one way to use it right so other ways to use it is you can take this thing off let me do this so you can take this off and you can run your paracord or your straps or whatever through the loops kind of s weave them through the loops and uh, I'll put a known overlay so you can see what I'm talking about and then you have yourself a sleeping bag so again you just will take your hat here or your hood and just cinch it down you know tuck it inside cinch it down and then you have yourself a nice sleeping bag that's actually pretty wide and again I'm a bigger bigger guy so you know even folded down into the sleeping bag mode I still have I, I was comfortable in there like that now on my recent camp out I didn't use it as a sleeping bag I said in that video I basically used it as a quilt or a blanket to kind of throw over me and it worked great another cool feature about this is along each side the top and the bottom you have a two inch wide channel that goes the full length you can kind of tell there goes the full length of the liner and what you can use this for is for you hammock campers you can use this as an under quilt or an over quilt so you can run your uh, shot cord or your line through the channel tie it around your um, hammock and you can use this as a um, again as an over quilt or an under quilt now like I said before I'm not a big hammock camper so I haven't um, I haven't used it like that but I know it can be done so that's another cool feature <coughs> with that and I'll throw this back on here it's actually a little cool out here this morning but uh, 
But with this thing on, like I said, it is very warm and very comfortable. Uh, in my recent video, my overnight video, overnight camp out, it got down to 42 degrees. I was very comfortable um, in, in my uh, bivy with this, uh, so I wouldn't hesitate taking this out you know around 40 degrees or even lower and I hope to get it out in some temperatures that are lower uh, I think with the proper uh, clothing on and this I think you're gonna be pretty good down below freezing now again that's you know dependent on yourself and you know how cold you are but um, as you can tell it's a quilted type liner so but yeah I've I've really been impressed with this thing and, and again I preach it all the time modularity and versatility this this whole system, the whole core temp system, has really changed my shelter system. Yeah, I'm pretty much go, all uh, going to using the core temp shelter half, the poncho, and the poncho liner as my shelter system. Uh, that's just how much I I like it so much, and really how much it's again changing my my whole gear, uh, which is nice, you know, because you know these things. This is something that's going to last forever. This is made in the USA. Um, so it's something that's definitely going to last forever, and I really like it a lot. Um, again, uh, Terry Barney, Iowa, Woods, Iowa Woodsman, you guys probably already know him. If you don't, you definitely need to subscribe to him. He's got tons more subscribers than I do. But um, he's also affiliated with Bushcraft Outfitters, and he did a, a review on the poncho liner. So check out his video. I'll put a link uh, probably down in the description to check out his video that he did. But... Um, yeah, just so versatile, so modular, and um, definitely um, a piece of kit or a piece of gear that I would highly recommend you having in your kit. Um, you know, especially if you're looking to upgrade and get some uh, higher quality stuff and, you know, better, better gear and better equipment. So I think I've rambled on enough. I think I've pretty much hit most of the, um, most of the points as far as the poncho and then the poncho liner itself. So, again, combined with everything, you have a complete system. So, thanks again, folks. I, again, I'll put a link down below to Bushcraft Outfitters where you can pick these pieces of kit up. Um, you know, again, if, if you're looking for some higher quality stuff that's going to last, made in the USA, um, definitely, you know, don't balk at the price. Just buy it and, um, or save up your money. Just buy it. And uh, so, buy once, cry once. So, thanks again, folks. I'm going to... Um, sit down and make up some lunch and uh, i'll see you on another video real soon always remember your ppe plan prepare and exercise get outside get outdoors have a good time and uh, thanks again for watching i'll see you in another video really soon